Welcome back to Okage, Shadow King. We're in the, what's this place called again? The Deep Grave Pit. A nine floor dungeon. Um, enemies don't spawn, by the way, if you just stand still and never move. Who would have thought? We finished floor one. Thankfully, the floors are all relatively short. So down to floor two we go. As always, the exit stairs are going to be right near the entrance. Right there. We just have to go kill those urns before we can do anything about it. And as usual, it's going to be a horrible maze that nobody likes. So on this one, the urns are right in front of me. I don't know at what point these urns are going to stop taking two... Wait. Uh, two all-out attacks to actually kill. But boy, it's going to be nice when they do. Cool. I'm willing to bet that was RNG or something. Because I don't think anybody leveled up since the last one of these I killed. Be nice if I could keep the camera down low so I could actually see what's going on in this place. Okay, so that was that way. We can also go... not that way. There's only so many options, so let's just check them all out. Oh. This guy's cool. I like this guy. He also goes down very easily. Really, difficulty comes from how enemies interact with each other. When there's just one enemy, it, they're pretty much never difficult. There's almost nothing you can do to make them difficult. I think he missed his second attack. So he just got his one. Okay, I was going this way, right. Yep, that one took two turns. Okay, so without going all the way back out. Oh, maybe we're just supposed to keep looping around like this. That's probably the... That's probably the plan. So we hang a left and go over and that's the urn. And then we turn around and we go right instead. And that takes us to the next leg of the outer ring. Where we can rinse repeat to get the next turn. That is all the urns. And that guy knew who the heck to attack, let me tell you. Okay, so from here, can I get back? Where am I? Okay, that's that. Can I get back by doing the same thing in the other direction? Yes, I can. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back up. And... Save. And at this point, I have enough money to buy one of the pieces of equipment that I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and go do that. And now I don't even have to worry about losing that money. Gate down stays open. So I'm just going to head straight down to floor three. Where we can begin our adventure anew. Okay, so this one is a little more pain in the butt, but it's still effectively the same deal. 
just have this weird maze here in the center. The urns are going to all be in the corners. And there's a little side room with the knight in it. Treasure dress. Who equips that? Um, Linda? I meet Singer right there. That's probably Linda. All right, well, I'll have that for her whenever I put her back in the party or I get back to town or, you know, whatever. Out of the way, I've got an urn! So there's that, if we can get, and it looks like we can. Go right up here to another one. So there's one more urn in the other corner. There should also be a chest right there. So now all we gotta do is get to that last corner. Oh, that was easy. So I am glad that guy did not do anything of terrible importance because I was not paying attention to my health and I have not healed for the last couple of days. Probably a good time to run back to the entrance and get our LP back too. All right, back, fully healed, and heading down to four. These are just gonna get harder and harder every floor. Now we got buttons. It seems to, but I can't be confident about that. Okay, so it all opened up to this one. Oh boy, I'm gonna fight something on this floor. I'm gonna try to just hit all the switches first before I worry about urns. Because they're all around the outside. Come on, dude, go away. Okay, so I can't get to that one right away. I need to hit another switch. was man. It was a rock. Rock man. Now with lemons. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda keep going and we'll get some more eventually. So it seems like there's kind of an inner ring that's just solid the whole way around. We don't even have to worry about that. So we can just kind of keep... Uh, hmm. Hmm, I don't have a good way to look these up. I wanted to try to get one good, but like... Couch potatoing? Raging, sure, why not? I think I tried that one. No, he did. Cool. I was gonna say, I could have sworn I'd gotten that one before and tried that exact same thing, and it didn't work. Hundred seventeen. Why am I escaping? Hundred seventeen is nothing to sneeze at. Especially since it hits every enemy on the field. Like, it's effectively a free attack on every enemy in the field. And that was enough for us to one-shot that guy with a combo, too. Cool. Okay, so I was going this way to hit a switch. Sure was.
So we have another switch down here. And I think we've done a whole loop. I think... I want to say there's one switch I missed. Yeah, so we got that one. Gotta hit this one. And I think that's all of them. So let's start thinking about some urns. Uno. And we just gotta go around and... Oh, I did miss one. Dose. But yeah, like I said, um, I know the previous floor technically didn't have any enemies left because they weren't stop spawning. But I noticed this on the overworld a while back. But the enemies spawning are based on your movement. So if I just never move, enemies never spawn. It's probably, like, distance or step-based. And after a fight, they just kind of give you a lot of steps before you can trigger another random fight. That'd be my guess, if I had to have one. Okay, so I'm missing one of the green switches, so let's take a look for those. Missing that one. And that's the passage to the last urn. Should be it. Sure is. And now is a good time to hop back up to the top of the map, or top of the tower. Heal ourselves up before we go back on deep again. There's a door somewhere. There it is. I expect there to be a door here. Like, I feel like I should be able to just walk out the dungeon. Back on four, which we just cleared out. And down to five. We're like effectively halfway there. Okay, so this is another going to be another fun one. Actually one shot at that one. Feels good. Okay, so we need to get somewhere. Man, they do not want me to go counterclockwise in this dungeon. Okay, so I got to go this way. Then loop around this way to get to this urn. I've never been in this fight before. Perpetual Mud Man. Uh, so these bloody armors hurt like a son of a gun. But the upside is I know what those do. I do not know what that Mud Man is. So I'd like to kill it before I find out. Good job. So these guys can heal, they attack, and they kind of hurt when they attack. And they have a... I think they can buff themselves up. Or maybe I just always got them with a bunch of frogs. They all go back down in one combo attack, though. They don't hurt that bad. Maybe I'm just used to them being, like, super buff. How many hits does it take, anyway? Just two! Doesn't, doesn't even take all three hits. I mean, it may take all three sometimes. I don't know. 
And it gets kind of weird when you start, like, splitting them anyway, so just have the insurance. You're going to take about three turns whether you want to or not. Um... But Naka, why is it called LP when it might as well be MP? Why do games keep coming up with dumb systems for magic when they're still all the same system and it's magic? Well, the answer to that is you're right. But also, there is actually a stat called MP in the game. Oh, thank you for reminding me that I need to heal Rosalind me. Good job, me. Uh, they actually have an MP stat. Somewhere. It's not actually listed here. That's cool. You can see it when you change party members. Um, and it is... Oh. You guys are gonna be fun. What do you guys do? What are you? Toothy gear. What element are you? Fire? Uh, what's good against fire? Electric's good against... Ice is good against fire. Hey, Rosalind, can you, like... Enemy group. Medium. Sure. Nuke them. Um, Ari. Ari! Go ahead and keep doing that. I think you get a bunch of money from these guys. Good job, Rob. Hurt myself for nothing. Um, MP is the amount of LP that they add to the party. So, like, the party's... T the party member's total MP... You can see MP right there. Uh, the party member's total MP is... L is your LP. Now I gotta heal myself. Good job, Roslyn. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get to, like, the other half of this map. Okay, wow, this is a roundabout area. I like symmetry! Okay, just a little mending. Not nothing too big. Oh. Two mendings. Should have just done a heal. Same cost. Trying to be cheap. Hey. Okay, there is actually a third item in this dungeon if I can get to it. I did it. I'm the was that all of them? Sure was. Felt like there was only felt like that was only three. Okay, so I gotta figure out there's another item in here and I gotta figure if I can figure out how to get to it. Yeah, in the world do you get there? Okay, let's just backtrack and hug the left. We'll find something eventually. Hey, there it is. And that should take us here, which loops around to the top. All the way around here. I'm gonna get a sparkling rapier, which is a very good weapon for Rosalind, if you didn't already have the best weapon in the game for her. So now that I'm here and very lost, I need to get on back so we can go on down. I also have a lot of money and I should go to town and spend it. We actually haven't been running into too many of the... I haven't been running into too many enemies at all, actually. I feel kind of bad. Like, I want to show off the fights, but also, like, getting into a ton of fights is a generally bad idea. Five is back where we were, so down to floor six, the brand new one. So I went ahead and gave Linda the piece of the dress that we found. I also now have Ari and Big Bull wearing their respective latest outfit and blood and sweat pants. So that's the best crap that money can buy. 
while I was hecking around, I also found the, um... Oh, um, side note. The Guardian Crystal, which we picked up on the previous floor, protects against pretty much all sp um, status effects. So, you know, that's cool. And while I was hecking around in town, I actually found an item called a... Ener energy Windberry Wild Strawberry... Wild Strawberry! Um, which recovers 25 LP. They're not even that expensive. This has made my longevity out in the field and in dungeons and everything nearly infinite. Okay, so we can't go down, so we're going up now. Oh boy, okay, we got switches. Well, let's hit that switch. Nothing bad ever happened from hitting the switch. If there's that many switches, I'm not too concerned about hitting... Urns. But it would be real cool if we could hit switches. Okay, so we can go that way. I cannot go further that way. Ring around the ghost. What's this way? Dead end? Oh, that's back at the start. Okay. So we need to go... Which way can we go? We can go up this way. That's an urn. Might as well get these ghosts off my tail. We're so, so slow to start on that first turn. That the guy got two attacks off. Jerk. Okay, not right next to me, though. So we gotta go back this way, and it raised you. Perhaps. Maybe. I want to say you can crit things, but there is zero indication that what you did was, in fact, a crit. Oh, thank heavens you put that switch there. Or you put that bridge there. I was going to say, I'm going to have to run the entire way around this place again. I'm still going to have to... Where am I even going? Now I'm so lost. Okay, well, I can go this way, and that's another switch, so whatever. I don't know if that's all... No, there's one switch left. I can see it. Who the heck knows where that is, though? Thanks, camera. You know what? There's gotta be... Okay, there's an urn there that I cannot get to. There's another urn in the southwest corner right there, which I can get to. So it's three of them, and there's only one switch left, and that one switch is preventing us from hitting the final... or from getting to the final urn. I just have no idea where this switch is. It's out here somewhere. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. I haven't seen you in a while. Is that the same onion? Man -eater. I think that's the same onion as, like, level 1 onion. So it's just the rays that may or may not be a problem. But that means if that's the level 1 onion, then that means that guy takes, like... It means he buffs him or something. So let's just kill a ray and see what happens. Mega Storm. Looking forward to this. Okay. 
And instead of buffing the last Ray, who's dead now anyway, you opted to attack us. For one damage, because you're like level one, and he died. Okay, wasn't bad. Those guys get buffed by that guy, that could have been problems, or we get nerfed, which, whichever. Um, actually, I think the word is debuff, but whatever. This is ludicrous that I have to cast that and it heals like none of his HP. I did it! And that will let us do something. Let us kill the final urn. We just have to figure out how to get to it. Bam! One more floor down. Oh boy. This is a hefty one. This is probably the worst floor, I think, I feel. I hear? I think I got those messed up. Floor seven, new floor. Uh, compared to the previous ones, this is probably, or compared to the previous one, this one is probably one of the easiest ones. No switches to press, which is an immediate relief. I don't mind switches normally, but I, w I wish they were marked on the map. Doesn't help any that the actual map is kind of useless on this floor. Just, it's a big, big blue blob. That tells me where all of these things are and how to navigate it. That assists my memory. I mean, on one hand, I feel like they did that on purpose. But then why bother giving us something if you don't want us to use it? I mean, it tells me which direction is north. Approximately where I am in the room. Just that easy. You know, I'm getting flashbacks to Dot Hack, where I just go have to plow through this massive dungeon and somehow come up with commentary to cover the whole thing. Uh, we have a decent amount of... We kind of got hit by that last guy. I don't know what this next floor is going to be. I know that one was pretty easy. I don't remember this next one being too bad, but it could be horrible for all I know. So let's just keep on the move out. We'll figure it out. I mean, worst case scenario, I use one of those items to give me my thing back. But one of my newfangled items. It gives me my stuff back. Uh, let's not go that way. That looks silly. I need to get to you. No switches on this floor, so it's just a matter of navigating it. Okay. And can you not? One urn left, we're almost there. So it's gonna be down in this corner. I don't know how to get there. I have no idea at all. Yay, that one was easy. And whenever those urns manage to cast an ice spell, it actually hurts a lot. And I'm like out of MP. That's fine though, it's fine.
That opened us up. Down to floor nine. So floor nine is actually like nothing. Well, it said to use an old stone doll and we just happened to find one. Now we just have to figure out where to put it. So it said the room above and pointed directly up. So we're looking at the map and figuring out what is directly above that room. Nothing here. Nothing here. And I don't have this one mapped anymore, but it was this floor. We just have to figure out how to get up there again. With all the bridges raised, this shouldn't be horrible, but ghosts are also coming back. Which is cool, because the urns are back, because I left the dungeon. It's fine. The things are raised, that's all that matters. Ah, yeah, I remember this now, okay. There was a chest right here. And a wall opens. What do you have for us, Wall? Hey, look at this. Back down on floor six, and we get the gear tower key. We can go into the gear tower. Let's get the heck out of here. I gotta figure out how to get through this room again. Technically, I have an item that does that. I haven't used one yet. And, you know, items. And we made it, so it doesn't even matter. So now it should be super easy from here. We're on floor four already. Just heft our way back up. We're done. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say, unless a cutscene or something happens along the way, I'm running out of here. I'm going to save in town. And next time, we can go see what's up with the gear tower. Hopefully it's not another massive nine floor dungeon. Or, you know, maybe it is. So until next time, everybody.